Welcome you to this week's Impact Wrestling Media Teleconference. This is Ross Corner. It gives me a great privilege to welcome uh, one of the newcomers to Impact Wrestling who's uh, calling us from, um, I believe he's calling from Japan, uh, Sammy Callahan. Welcome to the teleconference. Yo, can you hear me right now? We can hear you fine. You can speak up a little bit and we'll be good to go. How are, how are things going for you, Sammy? Uh... It is going great right now. It's 4 a.m. in Japan. I'm kind of mad. I've been up for the last five hours waiting for this call, so let's get it going. We have no time to waste. Let's get this going. All righty. Well, let's, uh, let's kick it off. Uh, you made a grand debut, Bound for Glory, in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Talk to us about uh, coming to Impact. Uh, I love coming to Impact. Uh, I love coming to any company I come to. Uh, that's the whole purpose of the Worldwide Desperado. You never know where I'm going to show up. You never know what I'm going to do. That's what's glorious about me at the end of the day. I'm unpredictable, uh, whether it be for OVE, whether it be in New Japan, whether it be for Lucha Underground, whether it be for any other company I show up for, you never know where Sammy Callahan is going to show up next, and that's what makes me the aura of what I am today. Well, it's an aura, but it's it's kind of a uh, sadistic uh, superstar. Um, would you would you agree? You kind of uh, brought a little uh, fire to uh, OVE. Absolutely. Uh, those are two of my brothers, and at the end of the day, those two guys are amazing. But when all three of us are together, there's nothing like us. There is nothing that can touch us. There's nothing that is more unstoppable than OBE, and that's why we are taking over everything. And we will say that over and over and over again. We are taking over everything. Everything. Well, Every, before we open up to a bunch of media... No, please, say it again for me. Everything. 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 One more time. Everything. Everything. Good. You got it. You get the catch phrase. We're good to go. Next question. Perfect. Sammy, before we get going, we got a bunch of media waiting to talk to you. Uh, I just have one personal question. Uh, maybe you can comment. What about the... Um, Ohio State Buckeyes. Didn't Ohio make State the, uh, Buckeyes the not making the playoffs have made me very unhappy at this moment. There is zero reason why we should not have made the playoffs. We beat Wisconsin in the Big Ten Championship. Why are we not in the playoffs? This is straight up. Uh, this is a very bad precedent for the uh, football state commissions, the uh, playoff division. This just shows that it doesn't matter how good your team is. If some some commission thinks you're better than the other, uh, they're just going to pick their favorites. And, uh, it's just a really red president. It just shows on ESPN that some of the announcers were walking out on this announcement that OSU didn't make the top four. All right, well, we don't have to worry about top four in tag team wrestling. You guys are number one, huh? Uh, we're number one. We're the Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Champions. Until we lose those titles, we're number one. Uh, it doesn't matter. On the promos, number one. In the ring, number one. No real barbed wire coming up. We are number one. All around the world, we are number one. We don't care. Ohio is taking over everything. I'll say that over and over and over and over and over again. We are taking over everything. Everything it is, and we will move on to the uh, media questions at this point. Uh, media, please. Unmuted. Oh, uh, it will be star six when you request a question. Please. Uh, Muted. Your media outlet and uh, limited to one question at a time so we can get through a bunch of questions for uh, Sammy Callahan here. Unmuted. Q&A session has started. To ask your question, please press. Star six. If you'd like to ask a question, your request has been received. Hey, Sammy, this is Graham Matthews, Hearmote.com. Uh, you mentioned earlier your time with Lucha Underground, with it being reported that Johnny Mundo, Johnny Impact, and, uh, and Taya will continue to compete for Lucha Underground. What is your status of the company headed into season four? Uh, heading into season four, you don't know where I'm going to show up. You don't know where I'm going to be. 
Uh, and that's what I love about myself. Uh, I will never go into depth exactly where I'm going to be, where I'm going to show up. And that's up to Lucha Underground staff at this moment. Uh, we really don't know where season four is going to happen. We don't all really know when season four is going to debut. So uh, that's really up to them. If I show up in season four, I show up in season four. If I don't, I don't. If I show up somewhere else, I show up somewhere else. That's what's great about Sammy Callahan. That's what's great about OVE. We are unpredictable and we're taking over wrestling one company at a time. Ryan Ryder live on Main Event Radio. Sammy, how did you enjoy your debut in Impact Wrestling up north in Canada? I love my debut uh, because, as I keep saying over and over and over and over and over again, I hate repeating myself, but I'm unpredictable. You don't know where I'm going to show up. You don't know what I'm going to do, whether it's pile someone through a table, whether it's throw someone off the top rope through a ladder, well, it's throw someone through a table until they're almost half dead. You do not know what Sammy Callahan, the worldwide desperado, is going to do. And that's what makes me an asset to TNA, Impact Wrestling, anywhere around the world. That's what makes Sammy Callahan OVE assets because you don't know what we're going to do. We are unpredictable. Uh, hi, Sammy. I'm Stephanie for Steel Chair Magazine. Um, you're going to wrestle the Great Muta uh, in Jan on January um, in a tag team match. And my question is, um, who are your influences and um, the wrestlers that um, that influence you, the legends that uh, you that inspired you, and maybe the Great Muta is one of them. Thank you, Sammy. Uh, yes, some of my biggest influences in wrestling are the Great Muda. Uh, but I've wrestled the Great Muda before, and he's a guy that I respect. But at the end of the day, I want to conquer him and show exactly who I am. At the end of the day, I am Sammy Callahan. I don't give a damn if you're Great Muda. I don't give a damn if you're Vader. I don't give a damn if you're Stone Cold Steve Austin, another guy that I look up to. If you step in the ring across from me, I will effing hurt you, and I don't give a damn at this point. I don't give a damn who you are. I don't give a damn what company you work for. I will hurt you to prove a point that OVE is taking over everything. How many times do I have to say that? We are taking over everything. Hi, Sammy. This is BQ from the Impact Lounge. First of all, I want you to know that I got an opportunity to watch you at Glory Pro a few months ago. And at one point during the it was match, you... great. Yes, it was obviously great, correct? <laughs> yes, it was great. At one point during the match, you yelled at my wife and told her to get out of her chair. She did, and you threw your opponent into her chair. And I want you to know you built a fan for life out of her after that moment. Good. Um, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, uh, you show, you've shown a lot of growth um, over the past several years um, since the days of, of Solomon Crow, and you're one of the more high-profile names in recent history to basically leave the machine, showing that you had a, you know, a lot of respect for yourself. And why don't you think more young wrestlers aren't afraid to, are afraid to bet on themselves like you did? Yo, bro, Solomon Crow was a bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone by my language, but Solomon Crow was a bitch. That was a person that I was not. I was walking on eggshells every day of the week, trying to be something that I wasn't. And then I left. I quit. And I became what I'm supposed to be. And that's one of the top professional wrestlers walking this planet today. Dave and Jake Chris, two of the top professional wrestlers walking this planet today. Now I get to rekindle my brotherhood with these two guys. We're going to travel the world together. We're going to be on national TV together and show exactly why we are two of the best, three of the best mother efforts walking this planet today. That is a become true. I get to show a worldwide television audience why exactly, you know, that other company passed on a guy like me, passed on two guys like these guys, and now we're able to show them exactly what we're going to do, the ratings we're going to produce, and the buzz we're going to generate being who we are, and that is Ohio 
versus everything. Because at this point, I don't give a damn. At this point, I don't give a damn who I offend. At this point, we don't give a damn who we offend because we are three of the toughest, nastiest, son of a bitches walking this planet today. And we are going to show the world exactly why Ohio is for everything. Did I upset you? Did I cut off the, the feed? Where is everybody at this point? No, Jake, Jake, Jake. <laughs> We're going to try to get Jake Everything. on the phone for you because you... Everything. Am I, am everything. I the word everything. Everything. Ohio versus everything. Do I keep hearing that word? Everything. I think I do. Sammy, do I keep hearing that word? Everything. You keep hearing that word. Everything. Everywhere that we go, we hear everything. 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 Let's welcome Damn, Jake to the teleconference. One half of the tag team champions. Jake, how's it going? I guess it would be uh, one, th one third at this point. It's going lovely. We're like I, the freaking free birds, Jake. You know what's going on. We're like the free birds and we're taking over everything. We're like a grungier, dirtier version of the free birds. I love it. Dude, if I could, if I could go back in time, I wish we could wrestle the Freebirds and just beat their ass. Because they I thought they were tough. They thought they were the bad street. Atlanta's yay. Now we would beat the freaking ass at the end of the day because we are Ohio. We are versus everything, but we don't give a damn who you are, where you come from. We are equal opportunity haters and we can take on any team anywhere around the world. We don't give a freaking damn. Well, I guess we'll we'll go back to call us and I uh Jake, I appreciate you uh you calling in here. You can uh, stay on the call please if you if you would. And we'll see if we uh get get a question or two for you. Let's get it rocking and rolling. Jake, I'm you may now ask your question. A little telephone kiss from across the telephone streams. I'm giving you kisses too. I miss you, bud. I can't wait till you get back home. It is 4 a.m. It's 4:14 a.m. over here, and I don't give a damn right now, bro. It's 2:14 p.m. over here, and I don't give a damn right now, bro. We don't give a damn wherever we are, and that's just how we are. Doesn't matter what time it is. It's five o'clock somewhere. Uh, hello, hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. This is uh, Big Ray for OneWrestling.com on behalf of uh, Bill Apter. I just wanted to ask a question for Mr. Sammy Callahan. First and foremost, thank you for being here, sir. I love me some Bill Apter. I'm not going to lie. What's that? Say it again. I absolutely love me some Bill Apter. Well, who... who... Well, I know who doesn't. I mean, that, that's uh, the I'd sexiest comb book, over her life, sir. Some cuddles, and uh, I can't. You can't go wrong with listening to some Bill Apter. Ooh. Please. Very cool. I'll, I'll make sure to pass on the love. Uh, uh, please, but, but the question I have. Say it again, sir. What Bill Apter? I promise I will. I, I have a question about your past. Uh, I was a big fan of you over, uh, on, you know, obviously on the indies, but especially when you did that run, when you had that run over at 2CW, uh, you finished, you could pretty much close out the company as their world heavyweight champion. I just wanted to ask you about some of your fondest memories on the indies in the past, wrestling people like RVD, Finley, so on and so forth. And who were some of your favorite dream matches that you uh, actually got to wrestle in? 2CW, I hold very, very close to my heart. Muted. A guy, Josh, that ran the company, who sadly is uh, undergoing a very bad liver operation right now, looking for a new liver. He is one of the best promoters myself or OBE has ever worked for, uh, and he ran some of the best shows I've ever worked for, and being his last champion is uh, one of probably the, 
the milestones of my career. I love Josh. I love 2CW. And every day I wrestle in this world, I wish 2CW would come back. Uh, from the point of wrestling RVD in my last match for WWE, me and Mitch Swan tag team there, or anything I did to that company, to be honest, uh, I absolutely miss 2CW. And every day I pray and wish Josh would uh, get healthy and bring that company back. And if Josh is listening to us right now, we love you, Josh, and we miss 2CW and we miss you. Hello, gentlemen. Good to speak with you again, Sammy. This is James from Wrestling Epicenter. We spoke a few weeks ago. Um, I wanted to ask you about your time in Lucha Underground when you had your run-ins with Eva Lise in Impact Wrestling, where you guys have the uh, the Knockouts Division, one of the top premier and the pioneers of the women's revolution. What do you guys think of a possibility of having intergender matches in Impact Wrestling? Uh, I love intergender wrestling, uh, to tell the truth. Uh, in my company, The Wrestling Revolver, which I run, I am a big proponent of intergender wrestling. Uh, I think it's one of the, the top wrestling in today's day and age. And I, I wish more companies would absolutely accept that intergender wrestling is okay. Boy versus girl is okay. Uh, girls can do anything the guys can do. And sometimes the girls can do it better than the guys can do. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm always going to be a big proponent of uh, energy and wrestling. And I, th there's no one that's going to tell me anything different at this point. Hi, Sammy. David Dunn with the New Zealand Pro Wrestling Informer here. Uh, you're a fresh face to Impact Wrestling and uh, currently on tour with New Japan as well. Uh, how does it feel to have locked down two of the most coveted gigs in all of professional wrestling with two of the most respected companies around the world? It feels great, uh, but it's another thing to mark off my list at this point. At this point, I've wrestled for WWE, NXT, Lucha Underground, New Japan Pro, Rev Pro in England, uh, pretty much every major company on the plane that I have wrestled for at this point, and that uh, no one can take that away from me at the end of the day. That's a uh, cool thing to add to my resume that I'm one of the only guys on the planet that has wrestled for every major company on this planet and that speaks volumes to who I am as a person, who I am as a performer, and who I am going forward that I am the real deal and I am one of the best professional wrestlers walking this planet today. Hi Sammy, uh, Don Davies from Slam Wrestling. Um, I've been following your uh, matches, uh, teaming with Juice Robinson in the New Japan World Tag League. How has that been uh, with the Japanese style, working uh, with Juice Robinson? Uh, I love Juice Robinson. Uh, I think Juice is one of the most underrated guys on the planet today. He is a true brother. When you, when you, re when you really think about true wrestling brothers, Juice Robinson is the definition of a good brother. Uh, and I couldn't have asked for a better partner. Uh, New Japan is a dream come true for me. And getting a chance to team a guy that is equally inside as me is like we both quit the machine inside of something better and uh, now we're both flourishing in different aspects of professional wrestling. Uh, I absolutely love Juice Robinson. I couldn't have asked for a better partner. Hi, Ryan Bowman from TheGorillaPosition.com. Sammy, you talked about how you can pop up anywhere and obviously you've traveled all over the world. Uh, how, how much of an adjustment is it for you to go from different companies, whether it's in Europe, Japan, America, uh, and get used to the different styles and the different wrestlers? Uh, sometimes it's rough, but at the end of the day, I just got to be me. Uh, when I was uh, part of the machine, part of that WWE NXT machine, uh, I walked on eggshells. I tried to be something that I wasn't, even though at the end of the day, I knew it didn't work. I knew it wasn't me. But now uh, I'm at a point in my career, I've been in this business for 13 years now. I'm not going to be something I'm not anymore. Uh, I'm a ride or die son of a bitch at this point. Uh, I'm going to do me. 
until the end of being me, and uh, it seems to be working. So I'm going to be the worldwide death Sparata. I'm going to be the Callahan death machine. I'm going to be Sammy Callahan for this point on forth. And uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's on me. But for the time being, it's absolutely working. Hi, Sammy. This is Eric Thompson with Last Word on Pro Wrestling. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, my question is, uh, you've discussed, you know, where you've been, um, you know, you're running Revolver. Um, what? And we've discussed that you are, you're taking over everything. Uh, but what, what's like, what is your tangible goals? When will you have decided I have taken over everything? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't really have a tangible goal at this point. My goal is just to continue to grow as a performer, continue to grow as a promoter, continue to grow as a booker. Uh, I just want to show that mediocrity is dead. I'm sick of the same old shit every fucking day at the end of the day. I'm sick of the same stuff. Like, I want wrestling to be what I grew up on, what I believe in, and that is a buffet of wrestling. I believe in you can have a little bit of technical, you have a little bit of comedy, you have a little bit of hardcore, you have a little bit of uh, just straight up 80s wrestling. I want a little bit of all wrestling because that's what I believe in, that's what I love. Uh, pro wrestling can be anything that we make it. Pro wrestling doesn't have to be one thing. It's flavors of ice cream. We can all like different flavors of ice cream at the end of the day. And right now you might like strawberry, but tomorrow I might not like the vanilla. And uh, it's really cool that right now, <laughs> excuse me, um, it's really cool right now that wrestling in general is getting more eyes on it than ever before. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep sneezing right now. Sammy and Jake, we have a. Uh a uh, email question actually for both of you two it is uh, what are your holiday plans and how do you plan to celebrate the new year? Sammy, perhaps uh, you can take well, that one first. Me going forward, my holiday plans is when I get back from New Japan, I am actually moving back to Ohio next door to my best friend, Jake Chris, so we can uh, on go our wrestling training school in Ohio and on go our life afterwards. Jake, what about you? Uh, for, for me, I'm looking forward to that uh, move next door and uh, the holiday dinners together. It's going to be great. It's going to be an amazing time. Uh, it's it's going to be a great time to be in Ohio. As soon as uh, Sammy moves back, it's, the sky's the limit. And New Year's plans for each of you two? Uh, we're going to be cuddling on the couch, together. probably drinking wine and mimosas when we watch uh, Impact Wrestling on the telly, not giving a damn what's going on. Because at, at the end of the day, when our No Real Bar Wire match airs, we're going to be one of the, the highest rated episodes of Impact ever. Yeah, girl. Uh, hi guys, it's uh, Gil Sammy from Real Sport. Um, question for you first, Sammy. Um, having had such a long history with Jake and with Dave uh, on the independent circuit, fighting together and against each other, do you, how do you think that history plays into you guys now forming as OVE? Do you think that it lets you achieve things which you might not be able to do as comfortably with partners you don't have that history with? And a question for you, Jake. Um, what was your response when you found out that Sammy would be joining you on Impact on such a large platform to show what you guys can do as a trio? Hit it up, Jake. This is on you, brother. Well, uh, I'm just I'm just looking forward to uh, having my best friend and my brother behind or uh, beside me. Uh, being on national television with these two has just been a dream come true, and. I can't wait to just keep tearing it up. Like the momentum that OV, OV has right now is just unbelievable. And I can't wait until that no rope gets aired and, and things are just going to be great from there on out. I, I'm looking forward to it. How about you, Sammy? Uh, 
We ch- we're changing wrestling right now. We are making history. We are airing the very first No World Barbed Wire match to ever air on national television. Sure, it's aired on pay-per-view. Sure, it's aired on other outlets, but it's never aired on national television. We are having the very first ever No World Barbed Wire. Barbed Wire Massacre, if TNA wants to call it that, match that will ever air on national Television. No one can ever take that away from us, and we are showing exactly the kind of professional wrestling that we love, that TNA loves, and what the TNA picture going forward is going to be. Hey guys, I got to tell you from uh, from watching that match, Barbed Massacre, in person in Ottawa at the Aberdeen Pavilion, there was not one person from the minute you guys walked out and or LAX till the end of that match who was sitting down. It was nonstop cheering. Everybody was standing the entire match. That was, it was insane. Uh, it was something special that no one can ever take away from us. It's a moment that until the day me, Jake, and Dave die, we will probably be talking about because it's something that was that special. It was that real, and it was that full of enigma that it's going to translate to television. I can't wait for the national audience to finally see it. All right. Well, media, we, we do have time. I, I told Sammy because of the time difference, we'd keep it fairly brief this week. So we have time for just a couple more questions. If anybody else uh, wants to get in line here uh, for, for a question for Sammy. If you'd like to ask a question, your request has been received. Hey guys, it's Brian Matthews, Nermo.com again. Uh, kind of a question for all of you guys. With Impact and Anthem saying recently that it allow wrestlers, uh, similar to Broken Matt Hardy and that stuff, to use their gimmicks outside of the company when they eventually leave. Uh, is there any chance we could see the Ohio is for Killers name used for Ohio versus everything for OBE and that and Impact at some point down the road, or will you stick with the OBE name? Uh, OVE, OI4K, it's pretty much the same thing. We're Ohio versus everything wherever we go. And uh, no matter what, that's uh, that's kind of what we live by. It's for Ohio. It's by Ohio. And no one can ever take that away from us because we're the guys coining that. We're the guys trademarking that. We are the guys that are straight up living that. And no one can ever take that away from us. We will bust our ass to the end of the day to show exactly where we're from because we are proud of where we're from. We are proud we're from Ohio. We are the heart of America, and no one can ever take that away from us. At the end of the day, people say gimmick this, gimmick that. It's not a gimmick. This is what we are. This is how we live. Like It is Ohio versus everything in our minds. Like This is what we're all about. Uh, Stephanie from Future Magazine again. Uh, thank you, Sammy, for your time. Um, as I'm thinking uh, British media, I wanted to ask you um, your feelings about the the fans and the British wrestlers. Um, uh, or if you appreciate uh, the time you spent there. And thank you very much again for your time. Go ahead, answer on this, Jake. Sorry? Go ahead. Sammy, I'm pretty sure thank you. She, uh, thank you. Wants to, she wants to hear from you, my man. Like, that question was t- towards you. Uh, say it one oh, more time. Me. You're breaking up. Ask the, ask the question one more time, if you would, please. Hello? Stephanie, can you hear me? I yeah. Hear you now. Yeah, okay, I ask, hear ask, you. Ask the, ask the question one more time. My question was about the British uh, fans and the British scene. Uh, you, both of you are already wrestled. In England, I wanted to have your 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 opinion on the on the fans and the wrestlers, uh, other people you you had the chance to to meet in England. 
as I'm representing uh, British media. And I want to thank you for uh, your time. Thank you very much. I love British wrestling. I think it's one of the hotbeds of independent and just professional wrestling in general at this point. Uh, I think Impact Wrestling would be great getting some more guys from England. Guys like Travis Bank, guys like... Uh, Anyone from Fight Club Pro, anyone from Rev Pro, anyone from what culture professional wrestling. There's a lot of amazing talent in England right now, and I'd love to go to bat with them. I went to bat with them in England on the independent scale. I would love to bat with them on the national scale, and I think Jake can say that same thing. We've had some of the best matches of our career in England, and I would love for the international masses to be able to see that on a television basis. Absolutely. Every single time I've been uh, over overseas in England, I've enjoyed my time. I know my brothers enjoyed his time, and like I, I love wrestling in the UK. I speak to you from the Impact Lounge. This question is more uh, so for Jake. Uh, Nevea Chris said on Twitter recently that she was uh, taking bookings again in March after her injury. Any chance we see her in Impact as a knockout, especially if uh, Diamante gets involved in all this? Uh, at the end of the day, you you never know. You just you never know what wrestling is like. What what what's uh what wrestling holds and like the future. If Diamante wants to jump into this, I don't really think she wants our misses to jump into this. I don't think that Diamante wants Nevaeh. I don't think Diamante wants Jessica Havoc to jump into this because at the end of the day, our girls are two of the baddest bitches walking this planet today. They're the killer death machines, and I really don't think any girls in Impact can stand a chance against what they can bring to them. You may now ask your question. All right, gentlemen, it's Big Ray for OneWrestling.com again. Uh, I have a question for Jake. Jake, um, my question to you is, and I was speaking to Ben Hameen. He's a good buddy of yours and apparently Sammy's over at the uh, at Hacker Hameen. And we were also talking about the difference that it made when Sammy jumped on the team. Now, you guys were doing great work in ring. And, and, and again, as a reporter watching you guys on television, you guys were doing great. But something changed. Something clicked when Sammy joined the squad of OVE. So I wanted to know, what was that that intangible that we maybe as reporters couldn't see Jamie but that Burns thing a, uh, that just took like you guys to another level. level to our team that uh that was missing obviously when when he wasn't with us the, the first tapings uh it was it was overwhelming for us at first and now that we got our uh, feet on the ground i feel like uh, we're getting good traction and like sammy's just a huge added bonus for us and like i said he just he just brings that um he he just gives us that confidence that uh, that I guess we probably uh, was lacking at first. All righty, we'll go to uh, Ryan here for the uh, the final question here today. Muted. Hey guys, Ryan Bowman from thegorillaposition dot com. One more time. Uh, you guys have made quite an impression in a short amount of time with the company. Um, one year from now, in a dream scenario, where are Sammy Callahan and Ohio versus everything? And thank you so much for your time today, guys. Uh, if I'm going to call this one year from now, David J. Chris are going to be Impact Tag Team Champions like they are right now. And I'm going to be the Impact World Heavyweight Champion. We're going to take all the belts. It doesn't matter if it's the Impact World Heavyweight Championship or the Impact X Division Championship. If I have to take that belt and make it mean just as much as the Impact World Heavyweight Championship, we'll do that. We're going to do anything we have to to prove exactly our point, and that is we are three of the best. We are three of the toughest. We are three of the meanest men walking this planet today, and we are going to take Impact Wrestling to the next level. And I guarantee that I will put that cross my heart, hope to die, snick a needle in my eye. We are going to put Impact Wrestling on our back and take it to that next level. Jake, where do you see the three of you guys a year from now? 
I mean, I, I can't say it better than what Sammy just just said it. Like that's that's exactly where I see ourselves a year from now in Impact Wrestling. Perfect, guys. I appreciate your time so much. Uh, let's uh, let's get Jake first. You can give us a, a final thought and maybe a maybe a final memory as well uh, of Barbed Wire Massacre. Well, the the memories that I have uh, that I always will have is when I look in the mirror and I, I look at my back and I see all the scars that the Barbed Wire Massacre Three created, and the moments that uh, Canada created for us during that match is just. It's unbelievable, and, and I'm thankful. As weird as that sounds, I'm thankful for uh, to, to be in the Barbed Wire Massacre match and, and to make history with my, my brothers. It, it's, I, I, love, I love Impact. I love the fact that the, they've given us the opportunity and the stage they've given us to show the world what Ohio is all about. So, Amy, same thing for you. Get your final thought and also uh, final emotions of uh, Barbed Wire Massacre. Uh, I love Impact, but I'm not thankful for having to go through Barbed Wire again. It's something that I had to do earlier in my career, and it's something that I thought I'd never have to go through again. I have scars all over my body from death matches that I've pursued all over the world, from Germany to England to Japan to America, and now in Canada. But we did it because it's what we had to do. LAX thought they were the bigger family, and I told them, hell no, you ain't. We are three of the meanest sons of bitches walking this planet today. Hardcore will do it. Lucha Libre will do it. Technical wrestling, we will do it. If it means we got to bleed all over the world to prove our point, we will do that one thing just to prove who we are. It doesn't matter what company. It doesn't matter where we are. It doesn't matter what country we are in. But right now, we are in Impact Wrestling, and we are proving that we are three of the baddest men walking this planet today. We are assets. Impact is lucky to have us, and we are lucky to have Impact because they give us that platform to show exactly who we are. And when there's no rope, this new rope barbed wire, this barbed wire master match airs, we're going to show the world exactly who we are. We are going to show the world exactly what Impact Wrestling is all about. And we're going to put Impact Wrestling on that next plane. We're going to set it aflame. And we are going to put it in that next echelon once again. And we're going to put Impact Wrestling on our back and ride it into the sunset and show exactly why we are Ohio versus everything. All righty. There you have it, Jake. First, if I can uh, thank you very much for calling in. A little surprise, uh, a little surprise guest here for the media. Thank you, Sammy. Uh, I can't thank you enough. I know it's uh, four in the morning. Uh, I, I I buy you a beer, but you're you're too far away. So uh, I'll get you when we're uh, back in the states. Please do. It's like four forty-five in the morning now. I haven't slept. I got to be up in four hours. But you know what? Screw it. Who needs to sleep? I'll sleep when I'm dead, bro. What do you, what do you want, you want a, a, a beer and uh, some Wheaties? I would love some Wheaties right now. Some good old Wheaties and some milk. Oh, I would love some cereal right now. I haven't had cereal in a month. All righty, guys. Thank you so much. Media, thank you very much for calling in. And we will have another Impact Wrestling Superstar next week right here on the Media Teleconference.